that follow that story during the course of the afternoon. A story we're following too at the moment is uh, some breaking news to bring you on this uh, earthquake in Morocco. We've just heard in the past few minutes from armed forces in the country uh, who've told us that more than a thousand people have now been killed in that powerful earthquake which struck the country last night. Uh, the toll there put at 1,037, in fact, and according to the armed forces, more than 1,200 people now injured, with 721 of them critical. Uh, just to remind you, the epicentre was around 50 miles south of the city of Marrakesh. Uh, that was the epicentre. The quake had a magnitude of 6.8 in a high Atlas Mountains, and some of the hardest-hit areas are south of Marrakesh. This quake struck at 11 minutes past 11 last night, local time. Aftershocks have been reported, with people staying out in the streets because of fears that more buildings will collapse. Our Africa correspondent, Yusra Elbege, is following developments for us. <laughs> It struck on a busy Friday night as Morocco's tourism capital Marrakesh buzzed with people. This is the worst earthquake the region has seen in years and was felt as far as Portugal. We were surprised by an intense vibration. Everything in the house was moving. We didn't know what happened. I was in my house and I saw people going outside. I heard a lot of noise. I thought it was rain. But it was the sound of an earthquake. The damage was felt in the heritage site of the Medina, but the worst hit areas were the villages of the Atlas Mountains, where efforts began to pull bodies out of the rubble. First, residents moved rocks with their bare hands, until eventually the army, police and firefighters were deployed. But even now, hours after the first powerful shallow earthquake and a night spent sleeping in the streets, people are still on high alert shaken by tremors and the sheer surprise of this tragedy. Yusra al-Baghir, Sky News.